Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the kitchen. We are making orange marmalade. Now, we are um, following on the footsteps of making orange lemon marmalade, and this is a recipe that I made last year. It didn't set properly, and I believe that's because I didn't cook it long enough. Uh, it came to temperature, but only just, and I think I need to cook it a bit longer at the correct temperature, um, and which is 222 to 223 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So I need to cook it a bit longer. The other thing is that I'm noticing, <clears throat> comparatively, in our previous marmalade, the sugar-orange ratio is about one-to-one. -one. We had the same amount of sugar in by weight as we did oranges. So if we had one pound of oranges, we had one pound of sugar. And if you look at this, this has one and three-quarter pounds of oranges to three pounds plus 12 ounces of sugar. That's a lot, that's practically double. So I'm wondering, I wanna make it this year and I think I'm gonna cut out some of that sugar. Um, the other thing is, is that I brought in some oranges from home. So actually I have a variety of Cara Cara oranges and navel oranges. So, um, you know, uh, Valencia oranges are also very good to use with, uh, to make marmalade. But, um, let's see. This one's the Cara Cara. This is the navel. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. They look pretty much exactly the same. Um, so there we go. Now, I do have quite a bit. So let's weigh this out. I think I have more than th one and three quarter pounds. Let's see how much I actually have oranges by weight. That's one pound. Two pounds. All right, we're at two and a half pounds, and this would make, all right, almost three pounds. <clears throat> so our other recipe, we had two and a quarter pounds. I wonder if I should just move this, take that out and just make it, so that's closer to two and a half pounds, okay? So let's stick with two and a half pounds. I'll eat that orange for lunch. And um, we're just gonna use two and a half pounds. So even if we have two and a half pounds of oranges, three pounds, 12 ounces of sugar is still a lot. So 3.5 pounds, that's a symbol for pound oranges. And I think, now I do wanna make, uh, taste the difference between the extra sugar and um, a marmalade where it's about the same exact uh, weight by weight measurement ratio, one to one for the orange lemon marmalade. So I don't wanna decrease it so much that it's exactly the same, but I will decrease it to three pounds of sugar. So I'm gonna get rid of that 12 ounces. So we're gonna use um, 2.5, pounds of oranges, one lemon, and six cups of water, and this time three pounds only of sugar. All right, we'll see how it comes out. So the, we're also doing a different method. Now our marmalade that we made previously, we boiled the oranges whole and then we uh, strained them and let them sit in cold water in the refrigerator for two days, and then we made it. Now this time, we're just gonna wash off the oranges, make sure that they're clean and get any, sometimes there's wax on them, so we'll get rid of that. And then we're gonna slice it. Now, uh, if you have a mandolin, you could do that. A mandolin is a very sharp slicer and uh, kind of dangerous to use. So what I'm gonna use instead is our handy food processor. Okay, because we want really thin slices of oranges. Okay, so I'm gonna get these washed off and then I'm gonna start slicing them in the food processor. Okay, so now here you can see the difference between the Cara Cara and the navel orange a lot better. So, sorry, the light is kinda. See how orange that is on the inside? Now this is the Cara Cara and that almost looks as dark as a grapefruit, so. There you can tell the inside is how you can tell the difference between the two. 
and these will give me a really hopefully a fantastic flavor. So I've already scrubbed them underwater and what I'm doing is I'm removing the ends so that way when they go into the um, food processor uh, we don't have that extra bitter bit at the top. And luckily for me, this food processor has a very wide opening, so I'll be able to fit it. If you don't have such a wide opening, you'll need to cut your orange probably in a half. If not, you can do it in a quarter. So I'm gonna get all of these cups all set. I've got it plugged in. Now this is gonna make a lot of noise, so I'm sorry, but we're gonna put it on low to check it out first, okay? All right, so this needs the attachment in place to work. So unfortunately, I think I have a problem now. So this needs that in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if this is gonna fit, unfortunately. All right, so, um, silly me. You have to have this in place and it's not big enough for the oranges, so I just cut it in half. But what I did do though, was I removed this membrane from the middle. And so now I'm gonna turn it on, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Again. There we go. Okay, so see how quickly that came down? And that is how thin we want. See how thin it is? So we want to slice all of our oranges just like that. All right, so this is done. And I'll show you. We got all of that in there. And now the great thing about marmalade is, of course, it's going to cook down. So we're not too overly concerned about the appearance of the oranges in it because it's gonna cook for so long. Um, we want it to be very thin and tender because um, unless you like chunky marmalade, I personally like thin chunk marmalade with thin strands of orange in it. So um, now we have all these beautiful, very thin slices of the orange. What I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna probably Take these out and cut them maybe into thirds, each of these halves into thirds. We don't want them that big. But now also you can see the difference between the Cara Cara and the Nevel as well. So um, this is unplugged, gotta unlock it. And now I'm gonna start cutting these up. So I'll just take a whole bunch. And again, because this is gonna be cooking so long, I'm not too concerned with how Beautiful my end cutting is. So I'm just gonna cut those, but we do want them smaller bits. All right, so that's gonna take me a couple minutes to cut all of these up. All right, so we have all of the oranges. I chopped them up nice and finely. So after I put them through the fruit processor, I chopped them up so they're not big half slices of, uh, of oranges. We have our three pounds, oh, it just went off, but that's three pounds of sugar. And now we need to prepare the lemon. So we need the zest of one lemon and the juice. So of course, here's our market plain zester, and I'm going to zest the lemon on here. And you want to keep rotating so that way you don't get the white pith underneath. The white pith is better, okay? so. Once you get to there, you're gonna keep turning until it's completely taken off. Do not go below that. If you do, you end up getting closer to the white pith, and that is very bitter. Like, I, I can't even go through <laughs> that hard. But anyhow, uh, do not grate it more than this, because then you will get to the white pith, and that is bitter. So you're gonna grate all of that. So once I have that completely grated, I'm gonna juice it, and then we're gonna get all of this into our saucepan, along with the six cups of water. 